Prostration vial doth not be deceived by the treachery of Las Vegas casinos. That is not Canadian bacon. Hi, I'm Patrick Frenisa, and today I'll be talking to you about uh, Canadian bacon. Uh, obviously, I'm from Canada. Uh, I'm an adamant Canadian bacon lover. I've loved it for 19 years. I feel I'm very qualified to speak on this topic. Um, today I'll be talking about the history of female bacon, how to cook it, how to make it, and why it's better than traditional bacon. So what is female bacon, or what is Canadian bacon exactly? Well, Canadian bacon, it, it is uh, pork, pork loin that has been cured and has been saturated in a brine for several days. Um, how do I prepare uh, uh, Canadian bacon, you might be asking yourself. Well first, I need to make the brine. The brine is very important. Without the brine, you cannot have Canadian bacon because that's what uh, cures it. So first, I need five quarts of chilled water between 35 and 38 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, this creates a cool, moist uh, atmosphere for the uh, pork loin. Uh, then I need one cup uh, plus two tablespoons of powdered uh, dextrose. This is important because it's a key ingredient. Um, then I need a, a quarter cup of uh, modern cure. Then I need three quarters of a cup of pork of pickling salt. This this whole blend here will create the curing process, and it is very important to it. And as you can see there, there's some uh, some bacon, uh, pork loin. Uh, then once I have that, I must take an injector and inject the pork loin with the uh, the injection. That will create like uh, on the inside the juice and the moisture for the curing process. Okay, how do I cook Canadian bacon? You may be asking yourself. Well, it's very easy. Um, first, uh, the, you must uh, coat the pork loin in cornmeal. Uh, cornmeal is the absolute staple of the, uh, the Canadian bacon diet. Without the cornmeal, you just have pork loin, which is, sucks, pretty, pretty much. Um, then you must cut into thick one, one, uh, one eighth inch slices. These slices, the bigger the better. I like mine nice and thick because it's, like, it's just delicious. No one wants a little winky dink, little thin slice. It's not enjoyable for anybody. And then you fry for four to eight minutes. Um, how I fry them is I fry them on the, the regular plan. I like to sprinkle a little cheese on them to add a little flavor. But that's just me personally. I like a little cheddar cheese on pretty much anything. Uh, it makes it quite delicious. You uh, fry them until they're slightly charred. Or else you might undercook them and you might get salmonella. So don't do that. Um, what else do I eat it? What, what can I eat peanut bacon with? Is it just something I eat by myself? Or what do I eat it with, you know? Um, you can eat, Canadian bacon is generally eaten with... Uh, fried eggs, uh, to toast, and uh, hash browns. This makes the complete breakfast meal for any of you breakfast lovers. Um, it can also be served on a panini. Uh, I'm Italian, so I love a nice panini with female bacon. A panini is like Italian for a bun. It's delicious. It's uh, filling. It's absolutely everything I could ask for. Uh, and Canadian bacon pretty much goes good with anything. You know, I've had Canadian bacon with Nutella. I've had Canadian bacon with maple syrup. <laughs> Uh, egg waffles, just, just great. Like, pretty much eat with anything. Um, how come Canadian bacon got its name? Well, first, in the late 1800s, the UK be, uh, had a imported uh, bacon or pork loin from Canada. They did this because they were having a shortage and they were having a bit of famine over there during uh, wartime. Uh, it was first called pea meal because it was coated in a, in a pea, uh, pea kind of cornmeal. A, a pea meal, sorry. That's why I got its name, pea meal. Um, it was coated in peel, uh, pea so it could... Uh, so it could, uh, <laughs> it could be shipped over there and not, not spoil. Um, eventually, the UK uh, started receiving this bacon. They, they named the Canadian bacon after its native land, where it came from. Um, so why is Canadian bacon a complete <clears throat> joke in the US? Um, this is coming from personal experience. Um, after, being, uh, after being imported to the UK, the US uh, desired Canadian bacon. Um, it did not spoil, or it didn't spoil as easy coming over here because the commute was much shorter as opposed to England. So um, they didn't uh, necessarily took kind of some shortcuts. They didn't usually corn. They wouldn't bread it in cornmeal, or they wouldn't cure it. So it created like this kind of mutiny almost, and this led of uh, the horrible mutilation of delicious cured cornmeal Canadian bacon to what they serve at Las Vegas casinos, crappy ham, which they call Canadian bacon, which is a joke. Right here is uh, uh, McDonald's. They're uh, trying to call this Canadian bacon, and it's, uh, it's offending me just looking at it. Um, <laughs> it's not cured on the sides. It's, it's bland. It's dry. No one will want to eat that. I don't want to eat that, for sure. Um, okay, this is where things get serious. 
things are serious right here. So Canadian bacon is better than American bacon. It's just fact of life. You know, it's just and I'm gonna you guys you guys might be shaking your heads right now, but some of you guys might be thinking like this, like it's erroneous, it's totally bull bull crap, you know, I that's Vince Vaughn right there. Uh, he's not he's not happy about us, he's erroneous on all charges. But let me tell you why it's better. Um, Canadian bacon is definitely tastier. The thick cut, uh, more filling Canadian bacon is full of nutrients and full of protein and is generally much more tastier than bacon. It's thicker, it provides, it's more filling, it's, it's just a, a better experience overall. Um, American bacon is often dry or greasy, as you can tell in the UD cafeteria, um, and it's not very filling. It'll take <coughs> several, probably thousand Canadian or, uh, American bacon slices to fill you up because they're very thin and very brittle. Okay, uh, Canadian bacon is healthier. Um, Canadian bacon uh, uh, carries more protein and it's from a leaner, par a leaner part of the pig. It's from the uh, loin up top there. It's uh, more lean, more, uh, more nutritious for you. It uh, has more protein. Uh, traditional bacon comes from the belly and this is where all the fat is stored in the, in the pig and it's kind of gross and you're really just eating fatty strips of, and with a little bit of protein in it. Okay, in conclusion. Um, today I've talked to you about uh, several things about Canadian bacon, one of them being uh, what Canadian bacon is, how it's made, uh, who how to prepare it, uh, its rich history, um, and what it's like and why, is Can why Canadian bacon is better than American bacon. So that's Wayne Gretzky right there. You know, he's a Canadian icon. You may not be able to skate like Gretzky. Okay, you probably don't. And that's Rich McAdams, movie star. You might not be in a starring role like Rich McAdams. She's Canadian. She's a great girl. But there's one thing you can certainly do in your life, and that is you can sure eat like a Canadian. <laughs>